All right, so today we're going to be checking out this PX exclusive Michelangelo or Mikey as Batman figure. But before we do that, we're going to talk about San Diego Comic Con on how to get these exclusives because a lot of you guys hit me up and go, hey bro, can you grab me, can you grab me, can you grab me? And I try to be a nice guy and I usually do. So here's, here, here's my situation first off. I've been going to San Diego Comic Con every year. This is my 25th show. So I'm pretty good at getting these exclusives at this point. I know the loopholes, I know the tricks, I know how to get a couple extras. I kind of got it figured out. So when I started doing a YouTube channel, a couple people hit me up, or hey bro, can you grab me this? Can you grab me this? Can you grab me this? And I did, and I hooked them up. I mailed them out, and some of those people, as a gift, as a thank you, mailed me an action figure that I didn't have, which I didn't ask for. I didn't, I did, I can't say I didn't want it, because I did want it. But they just did it as a thank you. And I was like, wow, that was totally cool. That was totally worth it. And then next year I picked some of them up and I wasn't expecting to get an action figure in return, but it definitely lets me know that you're grateful. So I'm not saying, hey, I bought you something. Now you gotta give me something. I'm just happy that I can hook some of you guys up sometimes. I get like 40 to 50 requests. Can you pick stuff up? That, no, that's not gonna happen. I try to pick like four or five guys, maybe six guys, depending on how much stuff they want, and then I'll pick that stuff up. So last year I picked stuff up for some of you guys, and some of you guys were very grateful. I don't know if anybody gave me anything for free or not. It doesn't really matter. But some of you guys didn't even say thank you. And I was like, man, that kind of that kind of sucks. That is kind of It's kind of a big deal to get this stuff, and then some people don't even say thank you. And so then this year rolled around and some people hit me up, they hit me up the year before, like, hey bro, can you get me this? And these, some of these people are some of the people that I don't even think they said thank you after getting it. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. And it is such a hassle getting them. I'm going, God, this is crazy because one year I had like two people, then the next year like 10 people, now like 50 people. And it's crazy, like hit up Shard on his channel and go, hey bro, I know you don't know me, but is there any way you can pick up some exclusives for me? and see how that works out for you. Hit up Pixel Dan, and Shard's pretty cool. Hit up Pixel Dan and go, hey Pixel, I don't, I know you don't know me, but I really want to get that Ninja Turtle set. Can you grab me one and you know, mail it to me and then you, then you got to get it, mail it, pay for shit, and, and all this, it's a process. And see how that works out for you. Or call Robo up and say, hey Robo, you don't know me. I'm just a fan of your channel. Can you, can you hit me up? Or better yet, hit up Bug and go, hey Bug, any way you can pick me up an exclusive, that'd be pretty sweet. I know you don't know me, but I would really like to get that thing, and I don't want to pay the scalper price. And I get it. I definitely get it. And that's why I try to hook you guys up. So I have a couple nerd friends in Vegas that I hook up every year that I've been hooking up for 25 years. I'm good friends with them. I will hook them up for the end of time. Then when you guys hit me up, I, I, I try to hook you guys up. You know, it's a little bit here and there. Just good karma. You know, do something nice. I don't charge you guys extra, I just what I paid for it plus shipping. So now I'm going to explain to you how hard it is to get an exclusive. First off, you have to get a Comic Con pass, which is almost impossible. I'm fortunate enough to get a press pass, so I get one every year. So that part is out of the way. But if you don't have that access, then you have to enter a lottery, try to get one. Maybe one out of ten people will actually get a pass to get to the show. Now, if you do get that pass, now there's this thing called a lottery. And you're allowed to pick like four to five people you get lottery points and you can pick this one this one this one or this one you can't pick them all you can only pick certain ones that you really want now this guy hits me up for bluefin now this guy hits me up for hasbro now this guy hits me up for lego boom i'm locked out i'm done of course i want the hasbro it's pretty much the only thing that i want that requires a porthole pass so now I have to enter a lottery to get that pass. Now if I am fortunate enough, so now let's take like say I enter Hasbro, they'll probably pick one out of five people that enter that that actually get, to in, get in there to be fortunate enough to buy a toy. And if you do get in there to get one, they only let you buy two. Now I'm one person, I obviously want one Hulk for myself and my friend at home wants one Hulk. So if you guys ask me for Hulk, I'm already locked out of Hulk. Now I'm a little bit more creative than that. So I went with my friend and his kid, he's Asian, and he didn't go to the show that day, so his kid hung out with me all day. He had a pass, so you, can, you can't buy anything with a kid pass, that's out, that's out. Those, are, those passes are worthless. So he has his dad's pass, 
I have a porthole. I go up there, and I'm like, hey, I got a porthole, blah, blah, blah. And they don't want to let my, this guy in because I go, he's my kid. He's my kid. You have to let my kid in. He's not 18. You have to let him in line with me. And then I sneak out two order forms, and I fill out two order forms. My friend wants all the Star Wars stuff. I want all the Marvel stuff, and some of my friends want some of the Star Wars stuff, Transformer stuff, this stuff, that stuff, this stuff, the magic set. So my list is pretty full. And so I gotta buy half my stuff, give it to him. I'm taking half of his stuff, giving it to you guys, and so on. So then I have to wait in line. You have to wait in line, even though you have a porthole pass. And so I gotta wait in line like 20, 30 minutes, an hour. It's always different. You get up there, you gotta fill out the order form, you gotta make sure that they put everything in that bag that you requested, because if not, they're gonna charge you for it, and then you just paid for something that you didn't get. I go up there, and it's $1,200 for Hasbro. $1,200, granted, all I want is a Hulk and a collector. That's all I want. So I spent $1,200 out of my pocket to get you guys exclusives. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal. Once I, once again, hit up some of these other YouTube channels and see what their response is to getting them, getting an exclusive for you. It's not that easy. So I get that. Now our, our both of our arms are full. Now I'm in the convention and I'm parked at the Hilton next door because I couldn't get parking at the convention center. Granted, parking for the show, just parking for the show is about $150, $150 on top of your pass, on top of your room, on top of your gas, food. So this is getting really expensive really quick. And you have so many bags. You look like a nerd. You got more bags and you can more toys than you can carry. Now I have to make it all the way to my car in a crowd where you're shoulder to shoulder, you can barely walk, so you're bumping through the crowd with these bags. So it takes you like 20 minutes to get to your car. Unload it, now your car's getting full really quick. We took my wife's Dodge Durango, she has an RT, it's really sweet, fun to drive. Took that, and it filled up really quick. Go to the car, put your toys in the car, now you gotta get back to the show, and it's usually about 15 minutes to get back to the show. So now you're out, say an hour, two hours out of your day of a buying, just to buy one thing from one vendor. And by this time, <clears throat> now it's late in the day, and all the lines are capped. Say I wanna go to NECA and get you guys a Ninja Turtle. Their line's capped and their Ninja Turtles are sold out for the day. So that's a wash. So to, if you were to buy something, you gotta get there early, and you gotta get to the front of the line unless you have an exhibitor badge, which I didn't. I have one for Wednesday, but I didn't have one for the rest of the show. You have to get there, but you gotta get there about an hour and a half early to get to the convention center, to get in line, just to get into the convention center. And when the convention center opens, they don't open all the doors at once. They pick a door and you don't know what door they're going to open. So if I'm at this door and they open this door down here first, these people are going in, then these people might go in, then these people might go in. Then by the, even though I'm first in line and I've been waiting an hour and a half to get into the show, then by the time they let me go in and I can sprint as fast as I can, forget the nerd walk, I'm full blown sprinting to run to the NECA booth to get your guys' turtles. And by the time I get there, the line is already capped. Now they'll reopen the line, but the turtles sell out by 10, by 10, by around 10 a.m. every single day. So if you're not one of the first people in line, you're not getting a turtle set, which is fine for me because I don't collect turtles and I didn't want a turtle set. But it's not okay for the guys out here that are trying to get one. Once again, no big deal. I love hooking you guys up. I'm not bitching. I'm just explaining to you how hard it is to get something like a turtle set. And so then I get to the NECA booth, the line's already capped, I'm like, screw it, this is gonna work, it's Thursday. Luckily enough, Wednesday, <clears throat> my boy Brock got me a pass for to get me in the show Wednesday. Went to the Mesco booth, hung out around there. The second the show opened, I was the first person in line. Absolute first person in line, buy it, boom, done. And then I went to Bluefin, I had a porthole for six o'clock when the show when the show opened <clears throat> went straight over there I had to wait in line 30 minutes even though i have a porthole even though i'm good to go and then i gotta wait in line there come up there and now i gotta buy this stuff at this point i have too many toys to walk around i have my mezco stuff i have my bluefin stuff and i'm not and i don't collect bluefin i clearly just strictly bought that for you guys which 
I get it. I absolutely get it. If you guys were going to New York Comic Con and I wanted something, you know, I probably wouldn't ask you, but I might. And if I did, that would be awesome if you hooked me up. So I get it. I get it. Like, we want these toys. You want them just as bad as I want them. So at this point, I got these toys. I got these toys. I got more than I carry. So now I got to take, now I got to walk to the car, unload, come back. And this is preview night, so the clock is ticking. It wasn't really a big deal for me because I was in the show at noon and it didn't open until like 5.36. So that's one of the processes to getting a toy. And then when I go to Mattel, so say I get to Mattel, I get in the front of the line, and it seemed like no matter what line I picked, my, my door never went first. Never went first. So then this one opens, this one opens, this one opens, this one opens. My kid wants the Stranger Thing comic book glow in the dark cover. We run over there, full sprint. Security's yelling out, stop running, stop running. My kid looks at me, I go, don't stop running. If you stop running, we won't get that comic book. Because that comic book sells out in about 15 minutes from the time the show opens. You got a 15 minute window, and those are gone for the day. I could have bought five, I didn't notice at the time, and only bought one. I probably should have picked a couple more up, because it's just a comic book, it doesn't take up a lot of room. Bought him the comic book for 55 bucks. You gotta figure this comic book's selling for like 60 bucks. I'm not a scalper, so I don't do that. But I see there's half the people there are scalpers. That's why this stuff is so hard to get. Half the people there are trying to make money off the show to pay for their show, for they can still enjoy the show, but they enjoy the show for free. When I enjoy the show, I'm usually up two, three thousand dollars because it's a very expensive show to go to. We go there and then we run to the Mattel booth. The Mattel booth line is capped. It's capped. Yes, they're going to reopen the line, but I'm trying to get that Jurassic Park figure. By the time they reopen the line, that figure is the only thing that I want, other than the Batman 4-pack, which was very easy to get. I, I, so it's capped. By the time they open the line back up, that figure is going to be sold out for the day. And at this point, it's Sunday. It's my last day. i got to go to Plan B, so I pull out $20. The action figure is $15, which is a complete ripoff for a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. I go to the front of the line, bro, are you going to get this? Yes. Bro, are you going to get this? No. Cool. Here's 20 bucks. The figure's 15. Keep the change. They charge tax, so you got to keep like three bucks. I was just happy to get it. He bought me one, handed me the toy. I'm good to go on that. This is how hard it is to get these toys. So when you guys are hitting people up, can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? So next year, unless we're like good friends or something, don't even ask. Don't give me, don't like make me obligated. Don't put the guilt on me like it's, it's just too much I had too much stuff I probably spent like four thousand dollars and half that stuff wasn't the most of it wasn't even mine like I bought four turtle sets I don't even collect turtles so I got four turtle sets so to get four turtle sets I gotta run in the booth get in line and then save a place for my friend my friend has to jump in line with me we go through the line together I gotta pay him two hundred and fifty dollars <throat> out of my own money to, for he can buy two turtle sets because he doesn't collect turtles either and then I can buy two turtle sets and then I can get the other figures that I actually want which is another thing while we're talking about turtles um one of you guys was a complete dickhead and was bugging me when I was at when I was at the show hey bro haven't heard from you did you get my stuff hey did you and I hate that shit I oh I hate that shit I'm trying my hardest to get you guys stuff don't harass me while I'm down there I really don't need it I got too many people asking me so, so I told him to not be a bitch. He got Libby with me. I got Libby back. He's obviously not getting this. So if one of you guys wants it, it's cost plus shipping. There was some guy from New York. I don't know who you are. If you're that guy, you watch this video, hit me up. I'll send it to you. If not, hit me up. And another thing, when you guys hit me up, have the money. Don't be one of those guys that go, I don't have the money till next Friday. If you have it, have the money. It's 125 plus 20, 30 in shipping, depending on where you live. It's up for grabs. I'm not going to scalp it. And then he also wanted this. He wanted the Terminator Judgment Day. I got one of these for myself. This is what I was actually in line for was this. But here's the thing. The turtle set sells out at 10 o'clock. All this other stuff doesn't sell out at all. So you can walk up and buy this stuff all day long. The turtle set is extremely hard to get. If you guys want this, I think it was like 50 bucks plus whatever shipping. Also hit me up if you want this. I do have an extra one of these. I think that's enough about the rant. Now we're finally, if you're still watching, we're gonna check out this Ninja Turtle.
All right, so whenever you guys watch my toy room collection video, you, all, you always go, you don't have turtles, you don't have turtles, you don't have turtles. And I tell you guys, yes, I do have turtles, I do have turtles. I have turtles that you don't have. So all you hardcore turtle fans, check these out. These were built a long time ago. They came with a Savage Dragon set. Let me see who they're made by. Maybe they might say on the bottom of the foot. I'm trying to read it. Uh, looks like Playmates. They made a Savage Dragon set. They threw this in there. The turtles appeared in the Savage Dragon comics. I think they did. I, I'm just from what I remember. And they were supposed to have the fourth turtle in the second series, but they never made the second series. So I ended up with three turtles. For you guys that say that I don't have turtles, I do have turtles in my collection. I'm just not a really big turtle fan. I thought these were cool. Not to mention a lot of you hardcore turtle fans don't have those. So... To you guys, you guys can suck it because I do have turtles. And now enough about that. We're going to go ahead and um, check out the one that I was supposed to check out like 20 minutes ago. And the video just keeps going and going like all my videos do. Which I try to make them short, but they never really go short. We are going to look at the package because the package is not that it's that cool. It's that the back of it is that cool. So I saw this set. These, these are made from DC Collectibles which DC Collectibles as a company kind of sucks. Like they, they, they show you stuff and then the stuff never comes out. But what is important is on the back of the card. This was the cartoon, which I absolutely love the cartoon. I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't love it. I liked it. I thought it was cool. But I don't have any turtle sets and I like the Batman figures that come in this set. They're all new molds. They're all new sculpts like DC Collectibles used to do back in the day. Now they're coming back to it. But who knows how much longer these people are going to make action figures for. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I thought the Batman was really cool. Comes with the Leonardo, um, which is also really cool. If you look at the turtles, all the turtles are different sculpts. They're not just like the same turtle repainted, which that I really like. It comes with the Robin and with Raphael. So these come out in two packs. They'll come out to like GameStop. Like this was like to the show, the PS exclusive. GameStop sucks. Whenever I pre-order something at GameStop, they sell out and they never call me. And then I go there to pick it up and they go, what? You ordered one? I hate GameStop. I freaking hate GameStop. So you can order these from um, DC Collectibles. You're going to order from GameStop. I don't know who I'm going to order from, but I am going to order it. So you can order them in two packs or come December, you can all order them all in one big pack. But the odds of them that even coming out at the time, I wouldn't risk it. Get the two packs because if these will probably sell out and then they'll probably never make the big pack and then you'll be completely screwed. So here's the first two pack, the Batman Leonardo. All of these together is going to cost like 250 bucks. if you're wondering how much they are. This guy back here was 30 bucks, which is a rip-off, but he is pretty cool. This is another two-pack, the Robin and Raphael. Then another two-pack, the Batgirl and Donatello. And another two-pack with Alfred and Michelangelo. So that's why I showed you the box. Now the box is going to go in the trash. And I'm going to show you the figure. He does come with a bunch of extra hands. He doesn't, I'm pretty sure this is the guy that's supposed to come with nunchucks, which he doesn't come with nunchucks, and I think that that really sucks. Let me see if the one on the box comes with nunchucks. He doesn't, none of these guys have weapons. Hopefully they have weapons when you buy the toy. He does come with extra hands. Here's like a, a thumbs up hand. This one. There's like a grabbing hand for nunchucks that he doesn't have. And he's got like two like open hands. And he comes with a, a manhole cover. It's painted like a pizza. I thought that was a pretty cool accessory. It'd be cool if it had like a, a peg on it and with a hole in his foot for a stand. But he doesn't need it. He actually stands really well. And this accessory, which I really love, you can use this with any action figure that you got. It gives you a pizza, a slice of pizza. I definitely like that. Really cool accessory. We've got pizza in the past. So he's got places to hold nunchucks, but he doesn't come with any nunchucks. I don't know why they wouldn't give you an accessory. That really sucks. The action figure I love. He does have pinholes, which is kind of a letdown. He spent 30 bucks on a figure. It'd be nice for them to finally evolve and not. They're only here on the knees. He has single jointed elbows, so there's no pinhole there. And that's pretty much it. Um, the cloth cape is really cool. Pick that up, see the back. I love the animation style of this Ninja Turtle. I absolutely love it. I know they've made tons of different animation and real TV and everything. 
But for me, you see my turtle collection, so this is going to be really cool when I do get to complete a turtle set. The, uh, we'll go over the articulation real quick. Looks like the head just turns. There's no ball there. That kind of... It's good enough for me. You guys might not like it, though. The shoulders are on a ball. That works pretty good. It's got single elbows, and it also turns here, which that's also good enough for me. has a ball here where it plugs into the wrist. I put a, I went ahead and put a thumbs-up hand on them, and I put a hand that can kind of like hold a slice of pizza. Um, does he have a... There's no ab crunch, which I don't really see how they could do. And it looks like there would be one because there's a line right there. Uh, I can't get anything out of it. It sucks that he comes with the thing to hold a weapon and he doesn't come with a weapon. Man, that, that really, really sucks. I'm not, not happy about that at all. He's got a double knee. <clears throat> Mine's kind of stick. You guys are stuck. You guys are going to tell me to put it in the microwave or hot water. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to put him in a vanilla pose and we're going to be done with it. He has a ball up here at the top. I think that's that's actually pretty good. And probably the best ankle pivot I've ever seen. God, that thing works. Look at that. That's, that's amazing. I just, they did such a good job on that. There he is. I guess we'll look at him real quick. I'll take a couple pictures, put them on the end of the video. If you guys are still here, thanks for watching.